First, I'm going to go in with the primer that I really liked after that um, first impressions video, which was by The Ordinary. This is the High Adherence Silicone Primer. So I'm just going to put a couple of pumps of this on my hand and move it around my face. To be honest, I'm not going to lie, a lot of the products that I use... I use them because I like them and I found them and I'm like right okay I don't need to change from what I'm using now so I'm sorry if the product list in my videos get a bit repetitive and um, to be honest in terms of clothes and makeup I do need to get a lot of new things because I am running out of things or I've, I've just seen things that I need um, and to be honest I don't shop very often for products at all so you'll probably see some new ones popping up here and there um, so yeah, that's the primer. Now I'm going to go and do my brows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. I use the shade Dark Brown and I'm just going to go in with this angled brush here. I'm just going to go off camera and do that because you've seen me do my brows a few times. So I'm just going to do the exact same way that I usually would and I'll be back to you once I've done that. Also when I do that I'm going to be carving out with concealer. The concealer that I'm using is the Revolution Pro Full Coverage Camouflage Concealer and I use the shade C1. So I'm just going to go around that with a flat packer brush and carve those out and I'll be right back okay so I've just also applied the concealer with the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder all over the lid so I'm gonna be doing like a Instagram body kind of vibe only because I really love their wing liner and the like smoky but also natural vibe that has that it has going on so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip into the original Jaclyn Hill palette um, and I'm gonna use some browns from here um, I'm gonna probably use a combination really of those two what are they called mocha and buns so they're these two brown shades there and there I'm just gonna use a mixture of them very lightly and I'm just gonna go around this portion of my eye and then I'm gonna probably apply one of the nude shades which is either um, Silk Cream or MFEO, uh, which are these two. Um, I'm going to apply one of those new shades in the centre of the lid, so I'm just going to go and do that now and I'll just speed that process up for you so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I've just gone and applied those brown shades. To be honest, I use buns more there. So what I'm gonna do now is pick up a nude shade on like a larger fluffy brush, um, probably that shade Silk Cream. Just tap a bit of the excess off and just work that around the edge just so that it blends a bit more nicely. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a flat brush and just pack that nude shade here, basically. And I might darken up the edge just before I do the liner. I'll decide and get back to you on that. Okay, so I'm just going to pick up that shade Silk Cream again and I'm just on a flat packing brush and I'm just going to add that to the centre of my lid. And also that shade MF... What's it called? MFEO? MFEO, yeah. Something that I notice about this look is it's very focused on like matte shades. Like I'm just using a Google picture for reference, but it's a lot of like matte going on really. Apart from the highlight, there's no like beaming in a corner or anything like that. So I might have to add that because I love adding that when I do my makeup, but I'm also trying something different today. I do feel like I need to darken up the edges just a little bit more. So I'm gonna go in with the shade next to Mocha. What's that called? Chip, it's called, and it's this almost like a burgundy brown uh, it's that one and um, it looks quite black on camera there but it's not I'm just gonna go in lightly with that with a mixture of that and mocha and just work that into the edge here and then I'm just gonna go in with a bigger fluffy brush and just buff that out to be fair we're gonna be adding lashes with this as well and there's some wing liner and kind of the point of this as well is that there's not too much going on so I'm conscious of that, I don't wanna pack loads of color on. So blend that edge out. And I'm just gonna redefine the dark parts, just going back and forth really until it looks how I want it to look. Yeah, I feel like that's near enough there to be honest. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the wing liner portion. Um, the wing liner I'm using is the one I've used in my previous videos. It's the NYX Matte Liquid Liner um, and it just looks like this. 
Um, so it's quite a thick wing to be honest and I'm just going to do that on, well I'll either do it on camera or off camera but I'll basically just, yeah I'll go off camera to do that because it'll just be ages of me fiddling and you really don't need to see that so yeah I'm just going to do a wing on each eye and then I'll come back to you. Okay so I've just gone and I've done my wing liner and I've put on these lashes. The lashes are by... I can't remember who they're by. Oh, it's a brand called Pinky Goat. I spoke about them in my last video, well, my last makeup video. Um, it's in the style Arwa, and they're really good lashes for the price as well, and they're vegan and, you know, cruelty free. Um, they're really, really good. So this is what the look's looking like. Again, it's quite plain to be honest, but it's just a bit different because I don't usually wear wing liner. I will say though, I'm pretty sure I've heard Holly Boone talk about that liner and say that it cracks. Um, she tried to use the white one and she said that it cracked and sometimes like for example when I do my wing liner um, I tied it up afterwards with a tiny bit of concealer and it did start to crack a little bit so just bear that in mind if you're thinking of buying it or whatever. So now I'm going to go in with my foundation. Uh, the foundation I'm using is by The Ordinary and it's in the shade 1.2Y which is uh, sorry 1.2Y light. Um, so I'm just going to apply a couple of pumps of this. The skill is to try and pump that on the back of your hand and hold your mirror and apply it without it going all over the place. Oh and I just clipped my hair back by the way and you're allowed to laugh at my roots because we're in lockdown and I can't get to my hair just so I think I've missed like nearly two appointments at this point. I usually have my hair bleached like every eight weeks maximum. Yeah, it's this lockdown situation, like I hope everyone's doing okay. It's it's crazy because you think about things like the war and things that were really, really scary and we don't know the half of it really. But then at the same time, they're told that it takes on people's mental health and that they can't even get out to see their families. Like I'm lucky because in our house is five of us, so obviously we aren't stuck and isolated um, completely alone, but I really feel for people out there who are struggling. And obviously one of the hardest things about the entire situation is we don't know when this is gonna end, so we don't even have like a finish line in sight that we can work towards. Um, I, on the 3rd of June, I'm 21, so I'm hoping that, um, cause that's a Wednesday, and I'm hoping that on the Sunday prior to that, Boris Johnson will say that we can at least see, you know, even if it's reduced numbers of friends and family or something, but obviously I wouldn't want him to do that too early, only if the rate of infection is manageable and it's looking like it would be a good idea. But yeah, it's horrible and hopefully, you know, we can all get through it and well we will get through it and everything will be fine in the end and I think that we'll have a much much more appreciation for the things that we didn't necessarily appreciate before and we just took for granted like you know we went for a walk today and we were all saying gosh the times when we could have just gone into a pub and got a bowl of chips or you know gone out for meals gone to the cinema gone to a theme park gone anywhere like gone on holiday like all of that's gone now so I really think we'll have a newfound appreciation for all the things that we can't like that we always were able to do but we completely took for granted I'm hoping it's that way although did anyone see those pictures of um, Blackpool at the weekend because it was obviously now we're allowed out for unlimited exercise and I think we can I can't remember all these rules to be honest there's so many going around but I'm pretty sure they've said you can meet one other person as long as it's like one to one and you're outside and you're not in gardens and things and people had just gone to the beach at Blackpool and just left plastic bottles and everything which just makes me so angry because I'm just like do you not learn from anything like whether it's lockdown or not that is just stupid people are just some people there's just no reasoning with them is there so yeah I just can't wait till we're all able to see our friends and family and we'll then be able to say god do you remember 2020 <laughs> do you remember like all that stuff that happened and hopefully we'll have some appreciation of what we previously took for granted. Um, going back to this foundation, I do really like it, but I feel like it separates a little bit. I don't know if it's the primer. Well, you'd think that the primer would work with the foundation because they're from the same brand. Like, obviously, sometimes primers and foundations just don't work well together because the ingredients, like if they're oil-based or water-based or whatever, but if they're from the same brand, and it's not a huge brand, like you'd expect them to work collaboratively. 
Okie dokie, so that's all blended in. I'm really liking this look, you know. I might do this more often. It's literally so easy. It's literally a couple of brown shades with a nude in the middle and some wing liner and you're done. Anyway, well, obviously you know that you've just watched me do it. So what I'm gonna do now is my concealer. I'm just gonna use this same Makeup Revolution concealer. I have still got some on the back of my hand actually, but I'll just add a little bit more. Um, and I'm just gonna go under the eyes and in all the highlight spots down the bridge of the nose and everything. Sorry about these black bits on my knuckles. I uh, touched the eyeliner bottle with my knuckles by accident. So what's everybody been getting up to in lockdown? Leave in the comments down below what you've been doing to occupy yourself and... God, like newfound. At least we'll have some newfound like hobbies and skills and stuff I guess when we come out because people haven't got much to do, have they? Like some people have been taking up like, God, all sorts of things, haven't they? I've been trying to do, like, to be honest, for the first few weeks I was really on it with workouts, home workouts, like I said in my um, first video ever back on this channel, um, well, my first video back this time, so, um, it was the sunset I look, get ready with me, um, I was saying how I was doing Natasha Rossi and workouts, which are so amazing, like, I love her workouts, but then, sometimes I just find that I'm not always, I'm not always, like, motivated, to be honest as well, for me, I've found that I need to do it as soon as I finish work and I like get up from my desk, otherwise I'll just go and sit down and then I won't do it, which sounds so stupid, but it's true. I'm also conscious as well that when I'm editing my videos, they're quite long, so things like my brows or my false lashes and things, that obviously you know what I'm going to do anyway, I'm just going to start doing those off camera if that's okay, let me know if you guys like that, um, but things like watching me do my brows and stuff, I really don't feel like you guys feel like you need to see that. Um, now I'm going in with my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Powder in the shade Medium. Um, I always do this just to set the entire face before I go in with any other products. Just because... I've just dropped it. I've just zoomed you in as well. Um, yeah, just because I feel like if I don't set my entire face, products are going to shift around as well. Okay, so now I'm going to bronze and contour. Um, I'm going to use just the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette, wherever it is. Yeah, the NYX Hand... The NYX Hand Tour, the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. Um, I'm just going to go in with that jewel ended brush from Primark, wherever it is. I think it's in this box. Honestly, you should see the state of my makeup collection. I have so many products, and then I look through and I'm like, I've not used that in years. Probably expired, if I'm honest. Um, so, I'm just going to do that quickly. There's a few shades in here, to be honest, and I'm not really a cool tone person, so I don't ever use that one, but I just use a mixture, really, of these three. Um, and I'm just going to put that into the hollow of my cheeks. So once I've done my bronzer, I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder um, and I'm just going to put that under the eyes and um, down the line of where I've just put my bronzer and contour shades. And to be honest, I don't really leave this to bake for very long. I just pop it down and then brush it away. It just, for me, helps to properly set your makeup in. And so I'm just going to brush that away. Oh, get my hair caught there. I'm then going to go in with some blush. The blush that I'm using is the Milani blush in the shade number 5 Luminoso. This is such a lovely blush. It's got a really cute shimmer to it and it's like a corally shade, but it's really lovely. Um, I just take that on a fluffy brush and just apply that to the apples of my cheeks. I think something that's really nice about this look as well is it's really complimentary to any eye colour because sometimes you see looks and then you do them on yourself and you're like oh that'd look better with somebody with brown eyes or blue eyes or green eyes or whatever um but I feel like the and I started talking about the blush then but I feel like the eyeshadow because they're such neutral shades it looks great on anyone for highlight I'm gonna take the um shade in the top left hand corner of the Jaclyn Hill palette they're cut the, these shades are in light and then you've also got beam so I'm just gonna take them on the fluffy side of the jewel ended contour and highlight brush and I'm just gonna apply those to the high points of my cheeks they're just so nice as a facial highlight rather than just keeping to the eyes and then I just apply it to the cupid's bow 
down the nose and a little bit on the forehead. Also, I think I will add a little bit of inner corner highlight because for me, I love a bit of inner corner highlight. So I'm just going to take those shades um, that I just mentioned from the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm just going to add those into my inner corners of my eyes. Yeah, for me that looks much better. I'm now going to go in with lips and the lip liner that I'm going to use is by Makeup Revolution um, and it is in the shade Satin Kiss. Um, and I'm just going to line my lips and also fill them in as well. Oh, also if you can see my glass of wine behind me, it's Bank Holiday Monday in the UK so you've got to, haven't you? Um, so, this is the finished look. I've just finished applying that um, lip liner which is a really cute shade as well. Um, I'll just zoom you in so you can see the completed look but I really like this um, it's basically really easy like when we come out of lockdown this is going to be one of my first looks that I do um, so yeah I hope you like this video let me know what you think about me cutting out the parts where I'm literally just carving around my brows or you know doing things that you know what I'm going to do anyway so there's no point in me showing you every single little spot I don't think but if you guys like it then I'll keep it in I'm just conscious that on my last video it was like 28 minutes long and I know that that was quite long for what it was um, so just let me know anyway any constructive criticism is welcome uh, and yeah don't forget to like and subscribe please leave a comment down below and yeah I will see you next time bye